guys, welcome back. I am doing a show review today. So I will be talking about the show In Her Eyes. Um, it's a limited series on Netflix and it was on Netflix, the top 10 for like a few weeks. I don't know, I think it's still on there, it might be. Um, so when you look at the cover, you're already, well, I was already like, okay, well, it's gonna be interesting. I might be interested in it, so why not? I've also been like testing a lot of shows out where I'm just like literally not even watching a clip of it. I'm just what like straight on going for it, and I was happy that I did. So um, it's a psychological thriller. So if you're interested in that, just like thinking and thinking beyond just what's like being shown on TV then you will definitely like this. Like I support that option of if you're really into it. Each scene is not what it's just being shown. Like I just said, it's literally like deeper than that. It's not just, oh, there was a boy and a girl. Right. So you really just have to like pay attention. And if you are somebody who's like me, who watches it, but sometimes like if something else happens later on, you're like, wait, wait, wait what? And you have to replay it, which is totally fine. That is okay. I say you have it there so you can replay it. So just replay the whole, like, whatever you gotta replay. I tend to do that, unfortunately, but I do. Um, when I see something, I may or may not be paying attention or like I'm watching it, but I may be doing something else. So I'm like, okay, wait, wait, wait go back. And I like rewind it. Anyways, um, I will play a scene over probably like three times for me to like actually officially understand and see what's going on if I'm not paying attention, obviously, cause that just doesn't work. But anyways, enough about my- Okay, so there's a cast, the cat. Oh, there's a cast. Obviously there's a cast. <laughs> okay, <laughs> obviously there's a cast. So, um, the cast, Eve Hewson, AKA Adele, who is, um, a psych, a psych, psychiatrist, psychiatrist, yeah, right. a psychiatrist, a psychiatrist's wife, right? Very simple, laid back. She's, um, one of the main characters, obviously. Tom Bateman, she's David, the psychiatrist. And it is based off of their relationship and how they deal with things and their brand new to a new city and they meet a lovely lady Simona Brown aka Louise she is a single mom she is out living her life with her son not expecting any of the stuff that comes toward them um, and she's really just you know making a way with her son she's a single mother like I said you do see the father um, in and out of the show so he's not like a deadbeat. He's just not. You see the father um, in and out of the show. So he's not like a deadbeat. He's just not around um, at the moment. But he still is like a good dad, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, he is not the main story. So, anyways, um, yeah. And then another main Robert. Our Arameo, sorry if I'm if I am pronouncing that wrong. These are all English actors, by the way. So um, they have gorgeous, gorgeous accents. Um, Rob is um, is Adele's best friend. They're best friends because they end up finding each other uh, in a rehab facility. And Rob takes drugs, and he's so used to doing drugs, etc., that he ends up in this facility. And then also Adele ends up in this, in this facility. And throughout the series, they show basically their relationship of how they got there, how they got to where they are, to where, you know, how they met, et cetera, et cetera. And Adele, the psychiatrist's wife, they show you relationships up to like where they met, where they met each other, where David, meets her and meets Rob and you know, the whole relationship. Louise, who is the single mother, she ends up finding her way basically in like a threesome relationship with them just because she meets the she meets the guy, she meets the guy David and they kind of have like, you know, a, 
a relationship, you know, she gets to know him, finds out he's her boss. Um, also, there are spoilers in this, so sorry, not sorry. Um, you should be, you should have already watched it, so there's no need for me to really spoil anything for you because you should have already watched it. It's such a good show. Um, but yes, so Louise is like the third person to this relationship and she has no idea what she's in for. She has literally no idea what's happening t at any moment. And she, it becomes like a crazy weird relationship because she's kind of starts sleeping with the guy, David. And then also she becomes like best friends with the wife. And there is, so there's this thing called lucid dreaming. If you do not know about it, it is, um, I actually have the definition, but I also have just like my own interpretation of it. But the definition of lucid dreaming, guys. I mean, that was a clear definition of it, but it is just like you knowing what's happening, what's going on in your dreams and you're doing everything in it and you like you can tell yourself to stop. You're telling yourself to do something in your dreams and other people in general. Um, and so this series is very involved with lucid dreaming. And honestly, I, before this show, I did not really think lucid dreaming was like a real thing, but the fact that it is, is super interesting. And I did like a lot of research and I was like really looking into it because if anybody who knows me, I do have a lot of like weird dreams. Um, and I, that I can remember, I've never lucid dreamed. And um, I remember them all. Cause I feel like a lot of people, I'll tell them dreams and they're like, I don't remember my own dreams. So I remember them all. Um, some of them, honestly, I can't even say if I have lucid, lucid dreams, just lucid dreamt, dreamt, yeah, just because, um, sometimes I think I'm in control, but then there's other times where I'm not, so I'm not quite sure, but they did a beautiful job in the show showing off lucid dreaming, um, in it just because, also with this one, with this show, um, the lucid dreaming turns into like where you can actually go inside of somebody else's body and you can control them to, con you can control them basically to do whatever you want them to do. And I believe that's also a part of lucid dreaming. Um, Adele, Adele knows how to lucid dream. So she ends up um, dreaming a lot and she shows, she finds out that her, I guess, best friend, Louise, the single mother, has like problems sleeping and she just like, she has like issues sleeping, she has nightmares and so she talks to Adele about it and Adele kind of, ha Adele has this notebook where it's really just her life and like she goes back into like how she met her best friend Rob and her life, little things about her life that we should probably all know. So we go and she gives, Adele gives Louise this notebook full of all the stuff that she did with Rob and all like her lucid dreaming and stuff like that. And it teaches Louise how to lucid dream. And she has no idea that this book is really based off of Adele's dreaming and lucid dreams and, de and deepest darkest secrets. She has no idea until she later on figures out more and more throughout the series about the couple. Um, Rob. Rob is, like I said, the best friend of Adele and Adele teaches Rob how to lucid dream, which was super interesting because um, in this rehab facility, they kind of, I mean, obviously they see each other every day, they hang out, they become best friends. And so they're doing things like frequently just to hang out and like be friends. Um, I don't know if any, if anybody else watched this at first, well, I knew this at first because I was like, I think Rob's gay and anybody who's seen it. Please tell me because 
I feel like throughout the show, Rob was like, oh, I love Adele, I love Adele. And then he, I just felt like he was like, I love Adele, I love Adele, I love Adele. And then there were moments where he would just say stuff about men. And I don't know if anybody else picked up on that. Cause I was like, he's like, oh, I love Adele. So at first I was like, oh, Rob loves Adele. So he's in love with her. And they were hanging out with like every second of the day when I tell you like it was all about Adele in his life. So I'm thinking, oh, okay, like he loves her. But then I don't know if anybody else picked up on it really though. Um, I don't know if anybody else noticed like it wasn't just about Adele. And he did make comments like um, saying like, oh, if you had a penis or if you had, you know, if you had this, whatever on, on a guy to Adele. So I was like, oh, that's interesting. I was like, okay, so you are gay. Hmm, anybody else pick up on that? Or am I just going crazy and just, it's not a real thing? Cause I did notice that. But anyways, um, so Adele teaches Rob how to lucid dream. Cool. And <laughs> the crazy, the crazy, crazy twist between this is that they do like the lucid dream and with lucid dreaming they were able they found out how to like transfer their spirit into each other so yeah and as you watch the series you'll see that they transfer like their spirits into each other right some people think it's cool i think it's quite creepy um but it was good for the series. It was perfect for the series, just like the way that it was mapped out, everything. And so I'm like, okay, cool. They're just kind of like, it's creepy, but cool in the show. <laughs> They're kind of just like switching bodies, you know, whatever. And then as you go, you notice that it's not just, it, 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 it wasn't just, a like cool quick swap it was actually just like a swap and stay in your body swap and the series goes on wait for it the series goes on and it's kind of just like oh okay like so they swap bodies and i'm like okay cool so they swap back never swipe swipe never go back into each other's bodies so this is adele and rob so now rob Rob's spirit is in Adele and Adele's spirit is in Rob. Um, Rob freaks out. His actual body freaks out. So he has Adele in him and he freaks out and he's just like, oh no, like I want to, I want to train. I like, I want to come back. I want, I want to go back. And he doesn't. And he ends up, his body is just lying there. And I think this is a scene where everybody needs to go see it. Everybody, I, I can't even quote what episode it's in cause I don't even know, but it's closer to the end because it's a, the bigger twist to it. So now we're left with Adele's body and Rob's spirit, right? We're left with them, right? And as you go through with it, you're like, okay, all right. Waiting, again, like I said, waiting. I mean, I don't know if anybody else was like that, but I was waiting for that moment where, you know, they swap back, like, you know, no big deal. Adele's body with Rob's spirit gets rid of Rob and Adele's spirit. I'm a little mind blown, a little, a little mind blown. And mind you, this is all in Adele's book, but not like saying like, oh yeah, I got rid of so-and-so's body, but it's literally just like steps of like how this happened and when, you know, it, it's all written out in Adele's book that Louise now has. And David, poor David, um, <laughs> the psychiatrist, he is the one who was like, oh, you know, after I met Rob, the best friend, I had a feeling that my wife, something was weird with my wife. She just was never the same. No kidding. No kidding. It was, she was never the same. She's Rob. No kidding. But who would know that, right? Like if you weren't there in that moment, like who the would know that? It would just be like, oh, like my wife's going crazy. 
And then also David puts her on like some medications. So she's taking medications because he thinks, oh yeah, she's just gone crazy. So of course she's on meds, but it's really Rob who's on meds. Rob's spirit in Adele's body. And this is also why I think Rob is gay in the show because why would he, first of all, why would he want to just get rid of, why would he want to just get rid of Adele's spirit like that? One. And two, I think he just wanted to get closer to David. And there is a scene in the series that shows that, um, that shows like, when David and Rob meet, they're just like having a conversation and you can see like Rob's face where it's like she, he literally, now that I see it, he's just, he was just obsessed with her life. Like he was obsessed with the glamor of her life. And although she was in the same rehab facility, but he's obsessed with like the glamor that David was giving Adele in a way, like the life that I guess he couldn't have or he didn't have. Um, so he was jealous of her. Fine. But when they're sitting, there was a moment of a flashback where David and Rob are like talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't know if anybody else felt it, but I felt literally like Rob's heart pounding. <laughs> I felt like he was like, oh, I just love me some David, you know? And I don't know if anybody else saw it. No idea. But I definitely, definitely saw that because I was like, this guy likes him okay which is fine whatever like and I'm assuming that's also why he did this why he did that and never changed back like it makes sense doesn't it I it makes sense to me it makes sense um but again this show really gets you like drawing your own conclusions and thinking about 5,000 things because you already I just went off and you know you wouldn't have even noticed um but yes, so Rob, Rob's spirit is in Adele this whole time because it's a flashback. Them sw swapping bodies was just a flashback. And so it comes back to Louise. Louise is here. She learns how to lucid dream. She learns how to like just move her spirit around and see things lucid dream basically <laughs> um, and see things outside of her body. And there was an incident where she ends up swapping bodies with Adele. So now, so now, <laughs> mapping it out for you, now you have Adele's body. You have Adele's body, right? With Louise inside. And now, all right, Adele with Louise's spirit. And now you have Louise's body with Rob's spirit? Rob is just, Rob is just, and come to think of it, when you first watch like the first two episodes, first episode or two, I'm thinking like, oh, when we met Rob, I was thinking personally, I was like, okay, like what's so significant about Rob? He's just there, like best friend, whatever. And then he goes into this lucid dreaming with her and I'm like, oh my gosh, you are a main character. Like you have to be talked about, Rob, you have to be. So now, Louise's body has Rob's spirit in it. First of all, Rob, you're doing too much. <laughs> you are doing too much. I'm thinking about it, I'm like, bro, like, are you just trying to ruin everybody's life? Like, and if you are, like, why? Like, what is happening? But at the same time, Louise did the swap and she had no idea. So, you know, we're just seeing that obviously because we're watching the show, but she has no idea that Rob's now gonna be in her body. So again, they never switch back. They never switch back. Mm-hmm. So now Rob is in Louise's body. And mind you, Louise has a child, which that son, like, I'm see, they need to come out with a second season because the son was onto it. The son was onto it on the end. Like he 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 knew what was popping. I feel like he knows something. Like he knew what was what to expect like he he has a he has an inkling in his mind that something's wrong with his mother like so anyways and then it, it i basically just told you the whole series and then louise ends up getting louise's body now louise's body 
with Rob in it, ends up getting married to David, who's a psychiatrist, because Adele's body is gone, right? So Rob just loves to jump into people's bodies and get rid of the, the other ones, the old ones. Um, this is why I say he's obsessed with David, because why would you choose Louise to go into her body? You could have chose anybody else. There could have been anybody else he could have chose. He could have chose the son. He could have chose any, well, the son was the only other character, but he could have chose anybody else. You know what I mean? But he chose Louise. He chose to go into Louise's body because she was having an affair with David and ends up getting married to David at the end. And that scene at the end, I don't know if anybody else felt it, but I was like, ooh, I got chills. The ending scene, they, after David and Louise get married, you just see them like, drive, they're in a car talking, chatting, Louise and David, and then um, the son says something, is like, oh, like, mommy, you don't like that? And then she turns around, and she's like, maybe I'm different. <laughs> like, when she said that in her eyes, like, with me, it's the eyes, like, <laughs> the eyes and the way that she turned, like, I'm different. I was like, oh, oh my gosh. And then that was it. <laughs> so do I think there should be a second season? Hell freaking yeah. But, but the only thing is with series like this, I feel like the one, the first season's so good. Sometimes they can't top the second one. You know what I mean? Like some, and mind you, there's a lot of series that have like multiple seasons and they get better and better and they're just amazing shows, you know? But then there's other shows like this one that I think was so good the first season. Like I wouldn't know how they would top it, you know? What would happen in the next season? I mean, this is my, you know, obviously my opinions. So I'm like, what would happen in the next season? Like, does David ever find out that Rob is in her? No, obviously. I, I mean, I don't know, but he wouldn't. Does the son do something? Because in the end, like, he seemed like he knew that something was a thousand percent, like, different with his mother. Right? Does David ever find out that basically he was... Rob was with him for the past, like, how many years? You know? And then do we ever find out where... I don't even know if they... if I, I'm trying to remember, but I don't even know if we see where Adele's body ends up. Because I know... Oh, I think it was on fire. Because there was a fire at one point. But y'all... Yeah, somebody can help me out with that one. Um, if there's actually, like, if Adele's body... Where Adele's body is. And if... And also, do we find out where Rob's actual original body is? You know? Like, we know that it's in a ditch somewhere or whatever, but, like, nobody actually went back, like, to see it, to see he was actually, like, there. Because if he's not, then you got Adele, Adele's spirit and Rob just walking around, just walking around somewhere, trying to find her husband. But they're on a road trip, you know what I mean, at the end? So it's like, what's going to happen? If they do come out with the second season, I think it'd be good. And I heard it's also, guys, I heard that this is a book. So I think it's, uh, yeah, I think I heard this was a book. So I may find out if it's a book and read it and come back to you guys about the book and compare the two. And we can talk about it and compare because I'm so interested. I love books that turn into movies. Um, because I like to come, I guess you could say I like to compare them, but I also just like to like see the different perspectives because um, sometimes authors may or may not translate well in movie series, if you get what I'm saying. Because like they could be an amazing author, but then like you put them out there and they do something like a series and it's good, but it's not as good as the book. But or vice versa. So I don't know, but I do, I'm so interested to read it. I'm gonna see if there is an actual book. Don't quote me if there is, um, I'll see it first. Um, if there is a book and I'll read it and come back to you guys and do a review on that because that seems really interesting. So yes, tell me your thoughts, guys. I wanna know your thoughts about this show. If you've seen it, what do you, like, what were you thinking? Were you thinking the same thing as me? Like. And tell me more of what you were thinking, like, beyond what I saw, maybe. Maybe I didn't see enough. I don't know. 
but it is such a good show and if you haven't watched it go see it i recommend it a thousand percent and that is it thanks for watching guys don't forget to follow me on my instagram deja deja underscore vu underscore um that is across the board facebook um definitely even this page so definitely go subscribe um and i also have a podcast a podcast with black coffee coffee with a k um we are on all podcast streams so go check it out go listen we will have new episodes coming up soon so go check it out it's just two of my girlfriends chatting it up and living life so go listen and subscribe to my page and watch more videos bye guys